Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to show you how I cooled off my tank a full 10 degrees uh, with less than uh, $20 in materials. So, let's get started. Uh, basically, the way the tank is cooled is by evaporation, but there's a couple ways that help aid in keeping the tank cool, and I'll go over those. Uh, also, everything that I bought, I'll put a link to in the description, so if you guys want to go pick them up. Uh, very affordable, especially when you compare it to chillers. I was I considered all kinds of options. Uh, aquarium chillers are very expensive. They use a lot of electricity, and they're bulky. Uh, they're hard to hide. So I need to come up with uh, something else that worked for me. Did a lot of experimenting, and I was very excited when I achieved the results I did. Uh, full 10 degrees. My house during the day gets around 85 and I don't want to run the AC all day to keep the tank cool so um, this works very very well for me. I can leave the AC at 85 during the day and the tank will stay 75 which is perfect because I have crystal red shrimp which are very sensitive to the heat. They like it cold. I don't know if you guys can see me there. Anyways, okay so we'll start off with this is, uh, if you guys are wondering, this is just an LED light. It stays very cool, uh, puts off a lot of light. It's good for plants. I like it. It's small. doesn't use a lot of electricity. And it has that very crisp white light that shimmers. Uh, this right here is probably the most important thing. Uh, this is a USB fan. It's extremely quiet. So you can hear, or not hear, is very quiet. Um, it is just plugged into a USB extender. You can get these anywhere. I'll show you where to get them below. Um, it's just double, um, I put some double sided tape and it's stuck to the frame of the tank right here. Um, it's very, very strong. It's been there for a long time. It's not going anywhere. Um, just make sure you get the good double sided tape. And the great thing about this, not only is it quiet, puts a lot of uh, off a lot of air. It also you can adjust it the the metal arm. You can swivel it so if you need a lot of cooling, you can point the fan down directly at the water, uh, and it will evaporate faster. If you need less cooling, uh, you know just a couple degrees, you can um, point it a little bit more up. Right now, mine's at a little bit of an up angle. Uh, my tank's been staying really cool, so that's really good. Um, also, it uh, helps cool off, keeps my LEDs nice and cool, which is important to keep them uh, lasting long. Uh, if you guys are wondering what that big white thing is in that filter, that is just to keep the baby shrimp from getting sucked up into the filter. Um, this one has it too, it's just, that one's just a little bit smaller and it's black. So, that's that, and I will move on to... Uh, the other part, this is the other part that keeps the tank really cool. This is just made out of cardboard. I, you know, this is my prototype, so I'm going to make it look a little bit better, but this I use this for testing purposes and it works awesome. Um, it's a uh, cardboard. I just, you know, measured the tank out and then put, and this is a sunshade from my car. I uh, just cut that out to the dimensions. My one sunshade actually uh, covered the whole inside of the tank. Um, the tank wrap, if you will. I don't know um, what you'd call it, but anyways, the back is a little bit smaller because of the hang-on back filters, you know, so it could fit nice and snug against the back of the tank. Um, and then also the sunshade had this Velcro that was already attached to it, which was a bonus because, uh, you know, when you attach it to the back of the tank, you just Velcro it on and keeps it quick and easy you. So, when I put the um, the shield on, I don't leave the light on during the day, uh, just because you know to reduce heat. I actually just turn on the light when I get home from work. Um, that way, the AC is on, it's keeping the tank cool, and you know I don't have the uh, the cover on the tank. So, uh, if you if you're wondering if I leave this on or not, I uh, I don't. Okay, so I'll show you how quick it is to put on the tank cover. You just slip it on. Uh, 
like that. Velcro it on, and you're all set. It is that easy, and your tank will stay very cool. So, uh, there's a little bit of a gap in mine. Um, you know, I'm going to redo this, make it a little bit better, but still, even with this gap, uh, I'm still getting about a 10 degrees. Um, cooling effect. Now, another thing I need to mention that's pretty important. Uh, if you guys are not achieving this, um, or if you live in high humidity uh, climates, one thing, the reason why um, I'm getting a lot of cooling, a lot of evaporation, is because I do live in the desert. The humidity here is very, very, very low, especially in the summer. Uh, therefore, water evaporates extremely efficiently. Um, so, if you live in a state like Florida where it's very humid, I'm not sure, I've not tested this in high humidity uh, environments. However, I assume that you probably wouldn't get as um, as good of a cooling, but you know, I'm curious. Um, I don't know if anyone's out there have tried that or if, um, has tried the fan method in a higher humidity uh, environment. I'm curious to know, so please let me know. Um, and that's it. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, bye.